Once you have found a software example that suits your needs, you simply click on the Import to CCS Cloud button, and this will take the project and import it into your cloud workspace. The environment that you see before you is CCS Cloud. On the left-hand side, it displays all the projects that you currently have in your cloud workspace. I just have one, which is the example that we just imported. It is listed here. I can expand this folder and see the files that are contained inside. In this case, it has a single C file. If I double click on this, it opens up in the editor area here, and it has a linker command file. You probably know what a C file is, but a linker command file is a file that explains to the linker where to place the various data and code sections. For every project that you import into the cloud workspace, it adds a default linker command file for you that matches the memory map of your device. So we do not need to worry about this file right now. You can see the C file here. The source code here is very simple. Basically what it does is make the LED on the device blink. When you are ready to build, click on the hammer and this will build your project. As you can see, the build goes very quickly. In this case, the project is very small, but you will find, even with very large projects, that the build speed is very fast. This is because it is being built on the backend servers, which have a lot of horsepower. When you are ready to load the program onto your device and run it, click on the Run button. This will erase the memory on the device, flash the new program, and then begin executing it. That is all you need to do to get your program loaded and running on your board. If you wish to modify the source code, you can go ahead and do that. Here, I'm going to change the interval so that my LED blinks faster. I click the Save button. That saves all my active source files. I build it. And I click the Run button again to flash the updated program to the device. You can't see it, but my LED is now blinking faster. So those are the basics of getting a very simple program up and running on a launch pad.